This is a diamond, the most sought after gemstone in the world. Let's investigate and find out why. Well, diamonds form approximately 100 miles under the earth and take billions of years to form. They're created at extremely high temperatures, upwards of 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 25 times hotter than boiling water. Rough diamonds are brought to or near the Earth's surface by volcanic activity and other geological processes. However, most diamonds are still deep underground, leading us to use very tedious and expensive mining procedures to remove them. Diamonds are found in an igneous volcanic rock called kimberlite. If gem quality, they can be cut and polished into jewelry. Up to 50% of the diamond can be lost in this process, but the result is stunning. We are very familiar with the beautiful clear diamonds in most wedding rings, but did you know that diamonds are also found naturally in 12 different colors? The largest and most expensive diamond on earth is blue. It is the Hope Diamond and it is worth upwards of $300 million. Diamonds are the earth's hardest natural substance known to man. They are 58 times harder than the next hardest mineral on Earth. They are extremely difficult to cut through, even with a machine like this. Because of the strength, most diamonds are used for cutting tools such as drill bits and saws, rather than gems. Their strength comes from chemical bonding. They are the only gemstone made of one element, pure carbon. Because we understand the chemical bonding of diamonds so well, we can synthesize them in laboratories, which is very cool. Most diamonds still come from tedious mining processes. Some of the biggest diamond mines are located in Russia, along with Africa, Canada, and Australia. However, the largest diamond market is none other than the United States of America. This is due to the obsession with diamonds regarding the wedding industry. This has caused the price of diamonds to become very high, with some diamonds the size of a dime being worth more than $100,000. And because of that, I think diamonds are here to stay. Diamonds are forever.